Hi, this is James Grover, October Library here with a book haul video. I cannot believe I have done three videos today. <laughs> That's a first for me, doing three videos in one day. Um, after I posted my Rage uh, video review, I decided to swim by Value Village because I had some stuff I had to get rid of, and I thought, check out the books, see what they got, and I got a couple of goodies here, some books I've been looking for, and some other ones that sound uh, looked interesting. So without further ado, let's begin. First book I got... The Stake by Richard Lehman. This is a vampire novel. This was published by Pinnacle. Pinnacle Books. And it's from 1991. Um, it's always good to have um, more vampire stuff and to have an art Richard Lehman novel uh, to my... Um, to my oh, yeah, that's right. I only, I only got um, Quake. That's the only one I got right now. And um, Quake is... The only one I got. Quake. Yes, yes. Quake is the only Richard Lehman novel I got right now, so it's nice to have another one to read. Hopefully this one this will be good. Okay, next. Needle by Hal Clement. Clement, I think. Hal Clement. This is a science fiction horror novel. Um, this is by... Let's see. This is by... Alan Avon Books. And this is from 19, this is first published 1950. This is, this edition is 1957. This is a, uh, about an alien that takes over a, like, child's body and goes, like, on a crime spree. And actually, interestingly, uh, me and my dad watched the film today, The Hidden, and apparently the, um, the screenwriter or the screenwriter got the idea from this book um, about an alien that takes over a person's body or, or no, wait. It was, it was like a similar idea, basically, of like um, the similarity between the book and the film, but they're two probably two different things. So, looking forward to checking this out. Next, Dracula by Brian St Stoker. Uh, this is a book I tried years ago and I didn't get far in it, so I'm going to give it another shot. This is by Pocket Books, and this edition was from October 2003. Um, Dracula was originally published in. What was it? 18... Oh, here it, oh, here we go. Uh, 4827. Uh, That's not for Dracula. Ugh, doesn't say what here. 1897 or 1896. One of those years, I think, that's what it's wrote. But this is like the, the Unbridged edition, so I'm looking forward to checking this out. I really like that cover. That's really nice. Hopefully it's good. Okay. This is a non-fiction book, but I'm going to show it anyway. British Special Forces. This is like basically a non-fiction book about the British Special Forces during the Second World War. It should be interesting. Um, this is by Graf Grafton Books, and this was published in 1986. I love collecting stuff like this. It's always interesting to read. Okay, next. War, War World. World War, yeah. War World Blood Blood Vengeance by Jerry Pernier, co-author who wrote uh, Footfall and uh, Lucifer's Hammer with Larry Niven. This is by Banlin, and this is from 1994. Uh, I don't. This is this looks like a post-apocalyptic kind of like fantasy series, so it looks interesting. I really like that cover too. Really nice. So. I'll look into this book and see if it's a series, and if it is, I'll check it out. Okay, I got this book because of the cover. Rite of Passage. Hi, Duke. Is there some time to do this? Anyway, Rite of Passage by Alexander Passion. Alexander Passion. Passion. I don't know pronouncing that right. Really sharp cover there. I don't know what this book's about, but it looks like a science fiction book, so... Looks cool. So, and this is by oh, this is by Ace Books. Um, nineteen what is this? Nineteen sixty-eight. Yeah, sixty-eight. First published sixty-eight. So I'll check, definitely check this out. Okay, another book I got because of the cover. Mark, no way, that's the R for multi multi face. By Mark 
Al Ad Adlard, Mark Adlard. If I'm pronouncing it right, that's a really nice cover. So, um, what's this by Orbit Books, British publisher, and this is from. Okay, first pub. Okay, this one is 1970, 1977. So this, one, this this book kind of basically uh, when I read the synopsis on the back, it's like uh, dystopian future, population control, and a bunch of other stuff. So, <clears throat> excuse me, look forward to checking this out. Okay, this is a book I already own, but when I saw this edition, I had to get it. The Great Train Robbery by Michael Crichton. Um, this is one of the rare instances when the film is better than the book it's based on, but still, it's interesting to read the book. If you haven't seen the film starring um, Sean Connery and Donald Sutherland, recommend it. It's an excellent book. This is by Batalin Books, and it's first published um, 1975. This edition is 1994. As I, the film is, I just find a lot better. Basically, this one's about um, it's set in Victoria, London. Basically, this like master thief that wants to pull off like this impossible job of like stealing gold from a moving train. It's really interesting, but. Um, the, the film is just a lot better. So, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Okay, next. Deadlock by Colin Forbes. And this is part of a series. This is the fourth book in it. I got, I got the other books on my wish list, but anyway. This is by Pan Books, and this is um, 1988. This book is basically about a guy that like takes on like terrorists across Europe and stuff. Sounds interesting, so look forward to checking this out. And the last book I got, The Nancy Drew Files, Deadly, Intent, Deadly Intent. I'm kind of curious about these like um, 80s editions of Nancy Drew books. And I actually got kind of um, some of the early ones. I'm just curious to what these books are, even though this is uh, young adult stuff. I'm still curious to check it out. Mainly what drew my curiosity to the Nancy Drew stuff is seeing um, the gameplay of some of the games. I thought, you know... Yeah, the game, the games are you know um, the, the voice acting it can be okay and but the story can be you know all, all right but it's just a lot of designs that are interesting anyway but when I checked out the the Nancy Drew series I, I don't know what the hell just check it out and oh man this covers a bent this is by Archway Paperbacks and this this is from 1986 so. I'll definitely one day get around to reading the Nancy Drew stuff and um, the Goosebumps as well. All right, that is it for this review, video today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will begin reading uh, Joanna Street's Dr. Sheep to finish off the Starpunk series along with um, Lily Gibson's Virtual Light and the last book in the Summer Slaughter, um, Stephen Hunter's Dirty White Boys, and then I'll just be reading some solo books. Um, I'll just be reading solo books. If you like this video, please like it, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Octar Library and the YouTube channel at the same name, a place you can post share and review eviction. Until then, I'll catch you later.